one of those mornings that we need to just wake up, go get Starbucks, instead of making coffee at home because we have had some rough nights the past couple nights. Um, I cannot get Reese to sleep in our bed right now. She's been sleeping in our bed. Um, she doesn't feel Mama. good. What, baby? Bed. Yeah, you've been sleeping in my bed, huh? Um, I don't know if it was a cold or I think it was a little bit of Mama. a cold and Mama. also Mama. what? Cold. You had a cold, yeah. Also, she has like three Mama. teeth coming Mama. at the same time. Yes, baby. baby. She's got a lot to say this morning, but um, baby. I just baby. feel like Starbucks will make me feel better. It worked, I already feel so much better drinking this coffee. This is what my order is lately. <clears throat> Venti iced Americano, two pumps of white mocha, two pumps of milk chocolate. The milk chocolate's what goes in the s'mores. So it's like kind of like doing a black and white, but it's different than their regular mocha. And then I get extra ice. The reason why I get extra ice is because an Americano is um, espresso. An Americano is espresso in water. So when they're making an iced Americano, it's espresso and then water on top of that and then ice. But when the ice starts melting, it gets more watery. So I get extra ice because it's like espresso and they just put a little bit of water and then ice and then the ice starts melting and it still tastes like your coffee instead of getting watered down, if that makes sense. And then also on this sticker, they didn't put half and half this time, but I always get a little bit of half and half just to make it a little bit creamy. But that's like my go-to in the summertime when they have um, the milk chocolate sauce. It's so good. So I've been getting a few questions lately about like um, what the concerns are for my pregnancy. Um, because I guess I haven't really explained very much what happened with my last pregnancy. Um, and I do have a... I do have a birth story video up um, and that explains like my birth and everything because I did not have any complications really um, while I was pregnant. It wasn't until I went for my, um, my regular doctor's appointment like three days after my due date. So I was like gonna plan my induction and then um, that's when I found out I had preeclampsia, which if you don't know what preeclampsia is, um, it's a condition where like your blood pressure is really high and it can cause seizures and it basically starts shutting down your organs. So if you get diagnosed with preeclampsia, you pretty much have to deliver your baby to get rid of it. So they sent me over to the hospital immediately to be induced and they gave me magnesium, which um, it calms your nervous system to like lower your blood pressure and everything like that. Um, so I was induced. Um, I had an epidural. I was fully dilated. I went to push. I pushed for an hour and um, basically like the shape of my body um, doesn't allow for me to deliver vaginally. So like... She wasn't in distress or anything, um, but the chances of me like actually delivering her were very slim and starting to become dangerous. So my doctor advised us to get a C-section. So we did, and then um, basically she told me that like all of my, like the rest of my births, whenever I have babies, will be C-sections just to be safe. So. I'm actually seeing a different doctor this time than I did before. And I'm I'm going to a midwife's clinic, which some of you might be like, why are you seeing a midwife if you are getting C-section? But actually, I really love it. Um, I have a regular doctor too at the clinic. So I have my regular doctor, but I also have my midwives that are there with me every appointment. They're like very personable. 
like they give me so much time to just talk to them about whatever I want and they um they answer like all my questions my last appointment um she was talking about like all the different things they give newborns when they're born which like last time with Reese I was just like yeah go ahead give her whatever you need um but they actually like explained to me like oh this is what this is for and this is what this is for because I haven't done my research um so I thought that was just really cool um anyways so I'm getting a c-section for that reason so the like only concern that they have for me is because my blood pressure does rise sometimes um is preclamps yeah but I just had all my blood work done and there was no signs of it at all so she said my numbers were actually so good so I'm not worried about it but if you guys are wondering that's what happened with my last pregnancy um the delivery was like terrible like super traumatic and if you watched like my birth story vlog video whatever um you'll hear me saying that and I I don't think it, it wasn't that long after I gave birth that I made that video but anyways I just want to give you guys a quick like little rundown of what that was like um so this one will be scheduled it's a scheduled c-section hopefully no complications I just need to I don't know go I have seven more weeks so I'm just trying to take it easy for the next seven weeks to keep my body like healthy and not like stressed out so yeah so today the main thing that I'm doing is I just made some welcome kits for my new young living members for July so I made these really pretty roller bottles um, there's like dried flowers in there super pretty and I was making some info cards if you guys are interested I have my link down below um, for that and then um, I started organizing the girls room I know I keep saying this but yesterday I started um, moving Reese's clothes down into like one drawer in her dresser and then I was I started filling the new baby's drawer with like newborn sized clothes and like kind of going through and I was like looking at all the like newborn zero to three type stuff and Reese was such a barfy baby that all of those clothes are like ruined from spit up you know like spit up stains are gnarly they're like really hard to get out especially they're two years old now like the stains have been sitting there and they just get worse like I guess you don't really realize it when you're like putting them away and then as they're sitting they just like get worse so I'm having to throw away quite a bit of that kind of stuff so but I'm just getting a drawer ready so I have like newborn whatever all that stuff ready for the baby when she gets here um and then kind of just figuring out like what I want the room to look like um and then while I'm doing that today Anthony is building the chickens a new feeder system um I don't know why because it's the high today is 102 degrees so he's crazy but I'll be inside if you need me I have been having the hardest time with Reese sleeping and I'm just really frustrated because she was sleeping so well like sleeping through the night and everything and now we're back to she has to sleep in my bed with me and it's like uh she won't even nap in her crib we used to be able to just like go in her room lay her down for her nap like walk out of the room and she's fine right now i just went and put her down and she's screaming um the past few days she's had to nap in my bed but she wasn't having it today so i'm like okay you're just going in your crib you're gonna be in there for an hour whether you are sleeping playing crying you just need to like i just need her to get back to being used to like being in her crib for a nap time and then um like last night it was fine she fell asleep in my bed I transferred her to her crib and she was asleep in there for like 45 minutes and then she started, woke up and started crying and then I rocked her for a little bit 
And as soon as I went and laid her back down, she starts going. It's not even like she starts crying. She goes, no, 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 no. Like she just starts like screaming. So of course I'm like, I don't have the energy to sit here and like re-sleep train her. But like I'm not, not sleeping good with her in my bed. So, and I'm like, well, we only have seven more weeks until the new baby's here. There's no way she's going to be sleeping in my bed when I have a newborn. Um, so... I don't know what I should do. I feel like I feel like I need to re-sleep train her. Like I need a new bedtime routine so that she knows what's happening. Um, not let her come in my room at all. Cause usually we like will lay down and watch a movie together at night. But I think I need to keep everything like in the living room and then do, you know, new bedtime routine and put her in her bed and then just like let her cry it out for a few nights until she figures it out. Um, but I, I hate that. But I mean, I guess I could start early at like eight o'clock instead of like eight thirty or nine so that she has time to fall asleep. But I don't know. I'm just like getting really frustrated with it. Um, and I need her to have those naps during the day too, because that's like two hours that I used to have um, to like do stuff while she was napping and now it's like I have nothing because she'll fall asleep in my bed and then it's like I have to be quiet, I have to tiptoe around, I have to listen for her. So, <sighs> frustrated. I totally forgot that I was <laughs> vlogging today because I was working on a different video but um, I don't remember what the last thing I was talking about was. I think maybe re-sleeping. Anyway, she ended up sleeping for an hour, woke up screaming tantrum so I decided to take her swimming um because it's also so hot today so this is my swim hair um so we went swimming wow that is so much better Kara really glad we went <laughs> swimming and came home and I'm just like heating us up some dinner um and I'm gonna try a new bedtime routine with her tonight and try to get her in her crib. But other than that, um, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. If I find something that works, I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, I feel like it's gonna be a struggle. But go do what you gotta do because I'm not about to have a newborn and a toddler sleeping in my bed with me. But anyways, um, I think that's all for today. I am tired and I'm hungry and I will see you guys next time.